Hi everyone, I just finished sanding my panga and I just finished vacuuming it. Next step, I'm going to be taking the fiberglass, rolling it out. You can see the roll there on the end up in the air underneath the plans. I'm going to be pulling that out, cutting out pieces and getting ready to fiberglass this. It's going to be raining for about a week, so I'll probably do it sometime next week. Other thing I wanted to mention is of course I filled this in with, I made like a thick epoxy glue and I used this stuff which is 403 microfiber. I used this white stuff and it made like a glue to fill in all the deep cracks and boy it took forever to sand this down but once it was all done I wanted to fill in the, the fine, any fine nail holes that I missed or fine scratches here and there, indentations, cracks between the slats there. So I went out and got this 410, this is West System, microfiber fairing filler. Okay, it's kind of like a Bondo when you work on car. And uh, stuff's a lot lighter. And it worked great. It actually goes on really smooth. I mean, a real smooth, shiny finish. And it sands down so easy. You can see I put it over here and here. It sands down real easy. So it took me half the time. I was able to, I put it all over the boat and I was able to sand down everything in just a few hours. So, right tool for the job is what I learned here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those pieces out. And in the next video, we'll be putting them on the boat. Finally getting the skin on. Okay, you can see right here, I already unrolled my first... Uh, strip for the left side this is actually going to be for the uh, left bottom and I'm cutting it out what I what I'm doing is overlapping uh, over the transom uh, excuse me overlapping yeah the transom a few inches but also over the uh, keel about four inches and on the side where you can see me cutting I'm going also roughly about four inches I'm actually feeling uh, where the edge is with my thumb as I'm cutting to make sure I don't cut too much. Um, this way when I put the next layer to do the sides it's going to overlap the floor four inches so all the edges uh, the keel and the uh, edges of the sides of the boat are going to all be doubled so that's going to be great. And here we are pulling out this second layer and that's always fun <laughs> trying to figure out should I bring it all to the way to the end which I ended up not because uh, I'm going to have to do too many cuts as it's too uh, curved at the front but I fixed that up with the last piece I cut some took some of the extra overflow pieces and I'm going to put those uh, where everything was bending which you'll see it'll make sense at the end and then uh, a while back, actually in my earlier years of doing these videos, I bought this pair of scissors there, actually four fiberglass, the best ones I found, and they just cut through it like butter. Now I am taking a third layer. So fun pulling that out. Wee! <laughs> Getting that straightened out. That's going to be covering the other side, eventually. And I'm making it come all the way to the front because I'm actually going to cut it right on the top there where you see my thumb. And I'm going to cut it right down the middle so it can kind of like be like an envelope and go on both sides of the uh, bow to get some nice uh, additional pieces over there. And snip, 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 snip. Cut that off there. And uh, this is a pretty thick, I believe this was a 12 ounce. Anyways, uh, it's uh, very stiff and very easy to unroll and manageable and to cut. And I'm just uh, taping things into place so I can see where they're going to be. I'm actually going to leave them right on the boat until I'm ready to come down and do the fiberglassing. Uh, I mean, do, actually putting the resin on it, so this way I'll know where all the pieces go. Works a lot better if you have two people to do this. Uh, 
for a little while I didn't put it on the camera, but I was like uh, the Three Stooges, you know. I'd pull it on one side, it'd fall on the other side. I'd pull that side, it'd fall on the <laughs> running back and forth trying to balance it. This is one of those extra pieces that I had cut out, and I'm going to use that to fill in that front piece and see how it overlaps over the bow as well. So that's going to give me a second layer over there to make it a lot stronger. And I'm bringing that down, and it's still going to overlap it, everything. So that should work out pretty well. I like the way it came out. Now the last thing I need to do is what I'm doing right now. I'm measuring about a little over five foot, maybe five foot four inches wide. And that is going to be for the transom. So I'm coming around and uh, what I'm going to do is when I fiberglass them, I'm going to try to fiberglass a transom first so that way when I put all the other pieces, they're going to overlap it, make it stronger. I actually did two pieces for the transom, and I'm just trying to tape them to see if they're going to overlap and be long enough. And that's pretty much it. I get all the pieces cut out, and I'm ready for the next time. I've got the transom ones on the end marked. I'm going to be putting two layers on the transom and one layer over here. I believe this is 12 ounce, so it's pretty darn thick. Uh, and it's gonna be overlapped everywhere, so it should be good. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.